What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time using a crazy off meta series 13 team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It only takes about two seconds of your guys' time, and it really goes a long way with health me grow as a content creator. But like I said, off meta team today, we have a Megirna and Mel Metal team with no way of setting trigger. Gonna be fun, gonna be a tough little challenge. Hopefully we can grab some wins for you guys on that rank ladder. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Victini over here with the Victory Star ability, alongside with the Choice Scarf as item. We got Final Gambit as one of its moves, V Create as another one, and then we have Speed Swap and Thunder Wave. So we can paralyze Pokemon, we can swap speed, which I kind of want to do with that Choice Scarf. I can just give it over to the Metal Metal and kind of roll out from there. Second Pokemon on team would be Groudon. Groudon has that Drought and the Salt Vest. It's Rock Crystal Ice Blades, Heavy Slam, Heat Crash, and Stone Edge. Salt Vest and the Drought, like I already mentioned, really strong Pokemon and a solid Pokemon in Dynamax. Middle left is going to be our support speed control Pokemon. That is going to be Whimsicott over here. Whimsicott has the Prankster ability and obviously holding the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Tailwind for speed control, Cotton Sport for more speed control, and then it's got Moonblast and Encore for its final two moves. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Kyogre over here. And I feel like Kyogre, we're going to be bringing in most battles. He's just like the heart and soul of this team. He kind of like everybody kind of revolves around him because he has Drizzle and he has that Life for Bad's item. And he's Rocking Protect, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Thunder for an amazing set for any Kyogre. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our first slow Pokemon. It is going to be Magirna over here with the Soul Heart ability alongside with that Weakness Policy. So if this Weakness Policy gets uh, poked up, this thing is pretty much just going to sweep battles. It's got Protect. Blur Cannon, Flash Cannon, and Shift Gear for stat boost. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Mel Metal, one of the best Pokemon in Trickroom. It is rocking Iron Fist, it is rocking the White Herb as its item, and it's got Protect, Double Iron Bash for stab, High Horsepower, and Thunder Punch for its two coverage moves. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Series 13 off minute team. Hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against probably my first Rayquaza team that I've seen in Series 13. So that's going to be pretty cool to go up against. He has the Incineroar, he has the Kai Ogre, he has the Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Yveltal, and then last but not least, he has Clefairy. So a lot of different special attackers. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could lead Kai Ogre. I feel like Kai Ogre could be great. I could set up a Tailwind here as well. And I kind of want to go into like maybe Kai Ogre and Victini because I could potentially just like Final Gambit a Pokemon and kind of go from there, right? Or I can lead like Victini alongside Melmetal, but I just feel like Kai Ogre is a great lead with Whimscott too, and then bring Victini in the back end, and then last but not least, probably have Groudon showing here. Because Groudon could get some work done here as well. I do like Groudon with this Soul Fest especially, because, you know, he has a ton of special attackers. But I really do like this lead, just in case he wants to go into, like, a, uh, his Incineroar and use, like, Fake Out, and kind of just tail when we get that, we get Dynamax, we can do a lot here. With a lot of different options. So we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see, because I was actually leaning towards going Victini and Mel Metal, speed swapping and rolling out from there, but... I just think the team that we picked is a little bit better. But before battle number one starts, you guys gotta let me know in the qu comment section down below for question of the day. What is your thoughts on the brand new Nintendo Direct? They finally did a big Nintendo Direct and they announced some pretty amazing games. So I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys. I just want your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he's gonna end up going into Yveltal alongside with Rayquaza. And I don't really mind. I could just straight up drop Ice. Start having Buffets fly through. Or I can keep the rain. It is up to me. Is up to me, but I'm kind of leaning towards just Dynamax here. Or I can just like, what do I do here? Which Impulse is really good. I could Dynamax, and I think I'm just gonna geyser down this thing. And then I might just tail one across the board. I think I'm just gonna tail one across the board, right? Tail one's probably my best bet. So I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna get after Shibelto. If Yveltal doesn't Dynamax, I think we can take it out in one shot. This Life Orb shot. And we can get going from there. But like I said, we have an off meta team today. So. It's going to be tough in a rank ladder considering I'm top 1500. I feel like the people above top 1500 actually know how to play and they know what they're doing. So I feel like if we get a, if we get one win, we should be thriving. here. Maybe we get two. Maybe we can even get a perfect record, but we'll see. We'll see how we play. Does not end up Dynamax. He goes for the Protect on the Rayquaza. I love. I, love. I don't mind that one bit. I do not mind that one bit. That's a huge turn for us. So he doesn't Dynamax Shibelto. It should go down here and we get a free KO and a free turn here, right? 
It's a beautiful turn for us. It's a beautiful turn. So he protects the Rayquaza, thinking that we're going into the ice move, and now uh, I'm going to keep the weather, and we don't get the KO. This thing might be vested. He might be vested. But he's going to end up going for a Snarler dodge of Kyogre. Oh, Kyogre does get the dodge. We do get the dodge with the Ogre. That's huge. That is huge. So at this point, I'm just going to Moon Blast down the Yveltal, and then I think I just drop Ice at this point, right? Get the super effective shot onto him, and roll out. I'm with it all day. That'll be four times super effective, right? Yeah, Flying and Dragon. This Ice Move could do a crazy amount of damage. Yeah, I can Moon Blast here. Snarl's not going to be affecting me. Beautiful. I love it. That is huge. And what does this thing have? What did that thing just eat? He has a Kusat Berry, but he withdraws his Pokemon. Okay. So which all is that? And he goes into Clefairy. That's a pretty smart thing. And then he's just going to go into Oblivion. Wow, dude. This thing really just Kusat buried me. What is this game? This thing really just Kusat buried me. Are you kidding me? What is this? <laughs> what is this? I really just got buried like that? Get out of my face. Get out of my face with that. We were thriving pretty strong there. We were thriving pretty strong. Hailstorm's going to fly through here. We're not changing up the weather. Or we are changing up the weather. But yo, that's ridiculous. I mean, still get off a huge chunk of damage there. So I can finish that thing off with a... Probably Geyser, right? Geyser can finish that Clefairy off. And then I should go into somebody who can take out Yveltal pretty fine. Let's do it. Are you kidding me? I think really had the berry. Get out of my face with that. <laughs> I could go into ground. I could go into Victini here too. Victini's not too bad. Victini can do some good, good damage. I mean, I could go into this. Hmm. What do I want to do here? But I really don't want to change up weather. That's my problem. I just want to go into Victini right now. Go into Victini. Take out Clefairy. I think V Create should be able to do enough damage to take out that, uh. What's it called? And then we can Gambit next turn. Actually, we can't Gambit after that. We're going to have to swap Victini. But yeah, I'm just going to. I sort of finish this thing off. Thing is, if he goes for follow me, it kind of hurts his soul. Yeah, I'm just gonna geyser across the board, and I'm just gonna be create. Right, makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he, I think he goes for the follow me, right? And I would love to swap next turn just so I can get my final gambit back. Kind of go from there. He goes for an ally switch. Oh, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad because I, th I think I think. These turns work out fine because V creates gonna poke through here. Should be able to take out the Clefairy, no problem, right? Clefairy's dead to this. Yep, Clefairy goes down. And then we can get rid of the what's called as well. The Yveltal. So we get rid of the Yveltal here. Weather's back in our favor. We still have one more turn left in Tailwind. Actually, we might not. We might not have one more turn left in Tailwind. But still, Rayquaza's probably gonna Dynamax outspeed us at this point. Okay, crit. Crit did not matter. But, dude, I cannot believe that Kusat Berry. That Kusat Berry actually did him so well. I cannot believe it. That's super surprising. That's super surprising. So, I think Tailwind ends here, right? Or do we have one more turn? One more turn would be beautiful. We might have one more turn left. If we have one more turn. That could be nice. Which, we might protect the Rayquaza here. And I could swap into my Groudon. Get the heat going. And he's going to go into Calyrex. So, Calyrex and... Okay, and this thing. Give me one more turn left in Tailwind. If we get one more turn left in Tailwind, that could be ridiculous. His airlock, so effects on weather disappear. That's totally fine. Um, the weather don't matter. Weather does not matter. And we do have one more turn left in Tailwind, so I could end up seeing a double protect. Let me see your speed, Kyogre. Do we outspeed this Calyrex? Let me see your lovely little speed. Ooh, ooh, that's close. That's kind of close, Kyogre. In a Tailwind, but yeah, it's definitely a, a good time swap for us. I do think he protects the... Rayquaza. How much is Origin Pulse on this? Should I go into like an Ice Beam? Might just Ice Beam this and hard swap into this. Because again, I think there is a slight chance that he uh that he protects the the Rayquaza here. They're gonna go for an Ice Beam and waste out the last turn Tailwind, right? There's definitely a chance here. Maybe I should just went into an Ice Beam into that. I'm gonna swap it to the Groudon. And what's he do here? Show me that he protects the Rayquaza. Show me that he protects the Rayquaza. Or is he Dynamaxing it? He's Dynamaxing it. Should have Ice Beam straight into that. Should have Ice Beam straight into that. Maybe he Max Guards here. 
Maybe he max charge. No, he goes into Calyrex. Okay, so Calyrex is gonna get the Dynamax. I can still, I can final game with that uh, Rayquaza. But this Calyrex is gonna be a pain here. This Calyrex is legit gonna be a pain. Like I said, I can final game with the Rayquaza if I can get out here. And he does protect the Rayquaza. That's a good call for us. Great call for us. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Send it that way. Give me a freeze. Give me a freeze. Weather's gone. Weather's gone because of airlock. We don't get the freeze. Phantasm's gonna fly through here. Can you eat this up? Groudon? Oh, Groudon can. All day, Groudon. All day, Groudon. So, Groudon soaks. They have speed on their side now. They have speed all day on their side. But defense drops. They're both special attackers. Unless that, that Rayquaza is physical. Could, I could definitely see it being physical. But I'm not going to worry about the Rayquaza. I am just going to start doubling down into this uh, Calyrex. Because we need Calyrex going. Because if I can get rid of Calyrex, I can legit roll into a final game. Bit and win the match. match off of a final game. But he goes to another Phantasm and he goes after Groudon. Can you soak that Groudon? You don't. He gets a higher roll on that one. God dang it, man. He does 103 the first shot and he gets more the next one. Unless this is a physical attacking Calyrex, but again, I do not think that's possible. Grimnade is going to boost this thing up here. And, ooh, it's going to be kind of close here. Dragon Ascent's coming in. Can you soak this up? Actually, that's physical, isn't it? You're dead. You were dead. That hurts the soul. So this thing is down in the dumps on this defense and special defense. Uh, What do I do here? Because I think we just straight up lose this battle. Actually, we can outspeed you. We can outspeed the Calyrex. We have to go into V-Create, but that drops our stats like crazy. That just drops our stats, right? Again, I could I could final gambit, but that would just lose this match. So we gotta go into B create right after this thing. We have to go into B create, but we're gonna end up losing battle number one, but I'm not gonna lie here. That Kusat Berry was definitely clutching up. Man, if we had the if we had the flames, that potentially could have taken him out. Speed's gonna drop, defense gonna drop, special defense gonna drop, and that's gonna be GG's. That is gonna be GG's, but yo, that Kusat Berry. Not gonna lie, really clutched it up for him and gave him an extra turn and pretty much won him the battle. But we're on one for today's video. Let's hop into our second, look for our first win. Second battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a victory here. He has a rather slow team, so I feel like the lead here gotta be my Victini, gotta be my Mel Metal. If he wants to go in the Trick Room, he could pop a Trick Room. If not, we're gonna speed swap into the Mel Metal and roll out from there. But I didn't even mention what Pokemon he has on team, but you guys can pretty much see. He's got the Dialga, he's got the Ho-Oh, he's got the Grimstarl, and he's rocking Storm Drain Gashadon with the Aveltal and Umbreon. So yeah, I definitely wanna go into a speed swap into the Mel Metal slot and kind of get after the battle that way. And then in the back end, I could roll Magirna. Magirna's not too bad here. But I feel like Kyogre Groudon really just like does a lot of work here, right? Really strong Pokemon. We just have to watch out for that Storm Drain Gash time when it comes to Kyogre. So I'm digging this slot. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But Groudon just does work all around. Has super effective shots onto the... Uh, Oh, oh, actually a four times super effective shot with the rock move. Super effective onto the Yveltal with the rock move. And then super effective onto that Dialga as well. So I'm digging this, but I really like Melmetal. Melmetal is actually one of the stronger Pokemon in Series 13. It's probably one of the strongest Pokemon, but it is really, really slow. If you can get this Pokemon in Trick Room, it really thrives out. It really does. But I wonder who he's going to go into. If he goes into a Pokemon that could pop Trick Room, I don't know if I'm going to speed swap. I think we'll just determine it from there. But he only has one Pokemon that can pop Trick Room, right? And that would be Dialga. That would be Dialga, right? Correct? It makes a lot of sense. And then at that point, I don't even know if we should speed swap. It is tough. It is tough. Tough choices. I don't know. He has Dialga. I could hard swap Victini right off the rip if he throws out Dialga. But he doesn't. So I am just going to speed swap. I'm going to get that defense boost and I'm going to take out Grimstrong. That's my play all day. Speed swap and then swap the big teeny for later usage. So here you go, little buddy. Here you go, Mel Metal. Take that speed and we're gonna Dynamax and we're gonna use a G Max Meltdown. And what does this do? It makes him incapable of using the same move twice. So I'm just gonna get rid of the Grimstone. I'm gonna say bye bye to Grimmy. Later, Grimmy, unless he swaps. But I just think he sets up a Maybe he goes. For, we could go for a fake out. He could go for a fake out. What is options? He withdraws the Umbreon. I'm with that all day. Who are you gonna go into here? I'm going to Yveltal. I have max lightning for that thing too. Yo, Mel Metal. Mel Metal's a beast, dude. Mel Metal plays no games. Mel Metal plays no games. So he could still fake out with the Grimstone, but I just don't see that happening, right? He hard swaps. What did he think that we were going for? I don't even know. I don't even know. But G Max Mel Metal coming out here. Look at him. He's just like a melted Mel Metal. <laughs> he doesn't even like he just looks like he's like been melted a little bit. 
And his metal's just all over the place. Look at that HP boost. He's gonna end up setting up a reflect. I'm kind of fine with that. I feel like uh, Mel Metal can still take this Pokemon out. We're gonna give him that speed. He should be able to outspeed uh, Yvelta with that speed too. It's actually gonna be kind of close. But G Max Meltdown coming in hot. Look at it. Bop. Lady Grimstone out. Yeah, dude. Mel Metal hits like an absolute truck. He hits like an absolute truck. So we get rid of him. We torment the field. And I think. Oh, we could take. Uh, we could take Yveltal's speed now. We could slow down his opponents now, too, and take their speed. Which I think I want to do. I think I do want to do that. I mean, I could drop a lightning, actually. Or I can just hard swap and save my final game for later, which could be a reply. Might have to be a reply. Throw out a Soul Fest Pokemon. Yeah, I'm kind of with that. And then just drop a lightning into the, the Yveltal slot. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's do it. Because, yeah, I would rather save Victini because if Victini can come out here with a final gambit to finish up the match, it's just such a huge play. It just does too much damage not to, not to save, you know? So, I'm going to swap into Groudon. Yes, sir. Groudon. And is he going to Dynamax your Belta? He does not. He goes for a Sucker Punch into the Victini slot, and it fails. And he's going to baby dies me. How dare you? How dare you baby dies me? It's a great play. But I am White Herb, which is beautiful. So White Herb coming in clutch right now. The White Herb is clutching up here. We're going to drop a lightning here. Bang, doing some nice damage. Half and up. Reflect is really helping him out there. And we do set the electric terrain. So I think from here, we could drop a Stone Edge into that slot. But I feel like we have to start doing some damage over on the Umbreon, right? So I double down in the Umbreon. I might just double down in the Umbreon. Going to Heat Crash. More out way. Heat Crash can do some big old damage. I'm going to double down in Umbreon. I just think double down in, into Umbreon right now is the play because he could protect the Yveltal. He could swap it as well. I just think this is a 100% our play. 1,000% our play. We still have Kai Ogre in the back end. Again, his team's rather slow. And if he has Ho-Oh in the back end, like we have our Kai Ogre. We have our Groudon. I like what we're saying. As long as he doesn't Dynamax his Yveltal this turn, I think we should be fine. Hmm. Let's see, but Umbreon is definitely a pain. And he does withdraw the Yveltal, which is a huge play for us. We kind of make a little bit of read on that. And he's going to end up swapping. Oh, we swapped into Ho-Oh. That's a little scary. And he goes for the Baby Dot Eyes over onto my Groudon. Right? Yes, and this is exactly why I use Heat Crash, just in case he wants to do that. Because this move just goes, so it's based on weight. It's based on weight. So he keeps my Mel Metal chilling here. He can't Baby Dot Eyes the next turn, which is huge. So I'm going to get another full turn with my Mel Metal here. And Heat Crash can come in here. And Heat Crash might be able to pick up a KO. I mean, Reflect's gonna help out tremendously. Yeah, I forgot about Reflect. I think it's leftovers. Really bulky. Um, could go for that Stone Edge. I could hard swap. Might hard swap. I don't know. We might have the final game with that thing. We might have the final game with that thing. And I think that m might be our play. Swapper Groudon in the Bikini because I know that this Ho O -Oh is gonna Dynamax, but I know the Ho O -Oh is not gonna go after Groudon slot. He's gonna go after. What's it called slot? He's gonna go after my my metal slot. Take him out. So I'm gonna go for the double iron bash. I'm gonna try to get rid of this Umbreon here, or at least try to make it flinch. We'll see. But I think Ho Oh Dynamax just drops a flare into my metal slot, and we kind of just go from there. But if Victini's live, I can get rid of the Umbreon with a final gambit, and then we can kind of just throw out the battle from there. Because who's this? Yeah, he has Yveltal and he has Ho Oh. We can Stone Edge both of them. We could drop Origin Pulse on all of them. But I gotta hope to get the uh, the the, uh, the rain out last. There's the ho oh. Yeah, Mel Metal outspeeds right now, which is huge. But that reflect was just so big for him. Reflect was just ridiculously big. The double iron bash coming in here. Give me a flinch or the KO. Oh, we're gonna get the KO. Was that a crit? Ooh, we get a crit. We love it. So we're gonna pick up the KO because this thing hits twice. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. We finally get rid of Umbreon, and I can pretty much do whatever I want with this uh Victini now. I can do whatever I want with this big team. So cool. He takes on my Mel Metal. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And now I can roll into Groudon. Keeping the weather. I can be create And then I can Stone Edge. Digging it. I'm digging it a lot. I'm digging it a lot. v creates going to do a crazy amount of damage in the heat. He can take out Yveltal at any time. He could Sucker Punch me. Which is a little scary. Just a tad bit scary. But I feel like I can eat that up. I feel like my boy can eat that up. The Sucker Punch is scary. Or I can just do something else. I could Gambit here. I 
think you can eat up a sucker punch, right? I feel like you can eat up a sucker punch. But I'm gonna go into the stone edge. I'm gonna roll into this. And is he sucker punching? He is. Can you should be able to eat that up, right? Are oh, you going to ground on? Okay, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. You're going in the ground on. We're gonna be create. We're gonna take out Yveltal. We're gonna drop a stone edge here. That does not take him out. Yo, what is going on? Does not take him out. Stone edge gonna fly here. Stone edge is four times super effective. Does some big damage, but reflects out here and doing some work. He's gonna fire into Groudon, who should be a actually. I don't know if you can soak that. You can. That's big time soak. It's big time soak. Gotta go into another B create here. I'm gonna actually double down to the Wait, right, should that be my play? Or do I Stone Edge again? Hmm. My turn is left in that reflect. This is coming out of the wire. They have three more turns left in the reflect. I'm gonna trust that my my Victini can eat up whatever. I'm gonna trust that my Victini can eat up whatever. Here comes the Sucker Punch and Dome. And he can. Beautiful. Thank you, Victini. That's exactly what I needed from you. V creates gonna come out here. We still outspeed. We get rid of the Aveltal here. And if I can land the Stone Edge, that would just be GG, right? If I can land the Stone Edge, that could be GG. I wonder who he goes after though. I do wonder who you're going after. That's a big time eat up from us. It's a big time meetup. So that's coming out here, and there's the crit from it. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Mel Metal coming in hot in battle number two. Speed swapping into it. That reflect did help him out tremendously. If he didn't have, we probably could have swept with Mel Metal. But he ended up setting up that reflect, making the battle a little harder for us, but we still ended up picking up that W. Third and final battle coming at you guys. In that last battle, we got to showcase the speed swap Mel Metal combo perfectly. We're going up against a Trick Room team here in battle number three with Ice Rider Calyrex. Zassian, Rillaboom, Blastoids, and then he's got, you know, his Trick Room Center P2 and Indeedy to help him out. So how should I go into this one? How should I play? I feel like we have to bring in Mel Metal. Mel Metal just works so well. I could go in with Whimsicott here. Whimsicott isn't too bad. So I could Cotton Swirl like my Kyogre if he wants to drop a Trick Room, right? But then if he doesn't bring that, I can legit just like, you know, Tailwind and roll off from there. Because Tailwind Kyogre could work beautifully, but I don't know. Do we just lead the Kyogre? We go Kyogre and Magirna. Or we can go Groudon Victini. Could go Groudon Vic Ooh, Groudon Victini seems nice. I kind of like the Groudon Victini combo. I'm going to bring both of them. I am going to bring Mel Metal in the back end, just in case for a Trick Room. And then I feel like we just have to throw in Kyogre here. Actually, no, we're not going to go Kyogre due to the fact is uh, he has Real Boom, And Real Boom is just a problem. So we're going to bring Magirna in the back end and look to grab ourselves a winner record for today's video. But not bad battle so far. Absolutely playing really, really well. I'm loving it. But hopefully you guys are enjoying all the content on the channel. I am trying to do some double uploads, but I'm very busy at the time. So we are still going to be doing some daily uploads, and I'm planning on doing double uploads like twice a week so I can get you guys some more Splatoon and more Pokemon content. But he's going to end up going into Blastoids and Zacian, which uh, I'm totally cool with. I can V-Create, take out Zacian. I mean, he could Dynamax that. Uh, he could definitely Dynamax the Blastoids. I could if I wanted to. Actually, we get Weather, which is... We get weather, which is huge. I mean, he probably thinks he outspeeds us, right? He probably doesn't think that we are truly smart. I might just Dynamax the Kyogre here. Or not the Kyogre, the Groudon. Wait, Dynamax the Groudon? Hmm. I could just go into a Blades, and I could go into a Gambit, but I'm just going to go for the Speed. Speed creates going to be my play, even though he might swap his ass in. What's he going to do here? What are you going to do? I think he might Dynamax the Blastoids, right? Yep. Dynamax the Blastoids, and I might just have to save my Dynamax for Mel Metal. Even though if he's not in Trick Room, he can still bulk up some shots with almost 500 HP and just get after the battle that way. So my thing is here, he's probably going to go into... I hope he goes into Groudon, because Groudon is best it. But he's probably going to go into Victini here, right? Do not protect Zassian. He does protect Zassian. You son of a biscuit. I just saw that coming from 90 miles away. I just saw that coming from 90 miles away. v creates going to get blocked. Blade's going to get blocked, but Blade's still going to hit up on this blast, so it's hopefully, hopefully he doesn't dodge it, right? Good work. So we're going to chip up some damage on him. Not too bad, and he's going to go into a canyon. And we can still Hailstorm. Hailstorm's a smart play. So we change up weather. We should be able to soak pretty well here because of our assault vest. We do. We do. So I can still V-Create that slot. v creates can still do a good amount of damage. Here. Well, I'm going to have to. I'm choosing to a V-Create. Any choice into a V-Create at this point. 
And I mean, who could he swap in here to kind of dodge if he create? He has Calyrex, no. Rillaboom, no. I would think he has Rillaboom and maybe Calyrex. I doubt he has the P2 and the Indeed, right? I'm just going to drop another Blades. I'm just going to V-Create into the slot. We're going to go from there. We are going to go from there. If he stays in with Zassy, maybe... He still doesn't know we're choice, which... He still has no idea that we're choice. So maybe he's like, I'll, I'll get off a shot and I'll sacrifice my Zassy. Maybe he's thinking that. But I'm just going to drop this V-Create. Withdrawal Zassy. Who are you going into? He does have the P2. Wow. He is going to poke into the P2. I'm kind of hoping he's popping a Trick Room soon. Once he pops a Trick Room, I get out my metal and I pretty much win this battle. So out comes my V-Create. V-Create's not going to do too much damage here. As you know, P2's an absolute tank. The biggest tank ever. It's going to drop my defense. It's going to drop my speed. All that good stuff. And we're going to roll into a Blade here. So Blade's going to chip up some nice damage all around. And he's going to go into a Canyon in here. So Canyon takes out whatever Pokemon he's sending up against. That's totally fine. He's going to end up taking out my big teeny. Okay, cool. I don't think I show my Mel Metal yet. I don't think I show my Mel Metal yet. I think I save it and hope that he pops a Trick Room this turn. I think I throw out my Kyogre for some faster Pokemon on the field. And then him being like, yo, let's pop the Trick Room. But he can't. He's not going to be able to get off the Trick Room, which kind of hurts his soul. I would love to, like, allow him to get off the Trick Room. Actually, I might. Oh, dude, I have my gear now. Do I just Dynamax my gear in here? I feel like Dynamax and my gear in would be the play here. Or do I Dynamax my metal? I feel like I have to Dynamax my, uh, my gear in here. Just because the sheer fact is we can pick up some big time kills. And my gear in might be fashion blast swords. I'm just going to drop another blades. I'm going to Dynamax and do I Starfall or do I Steel Spike? Steel Spike would be a lot better. It really would. I'm going to I'm gonna Steel Spike into the Blast Lights. Just so I can get the defense boost because I'm really worried about that Zassy taking me out the shot. I think granting this defense boost, even though we're hitting a not very effective shot here, I just think it's our best bet. We're going to go into our Dynamax. We're going to send it on Mag Gear. Not. Why do I think we had Kai over? I think because we wanted to bring out Kyogre, but he had Rillaboom. And I'm thinking that would be his last Pokemon, right? Zacian, Rillaboom, Blastoids, P2. Makes a lot of sense, unless he has Calyrex in case he wants to pop the trick. There's a lot of different options here. I'm going to end up going for a Blaze. Can I take out the P2? It does indeed. That is huge. I think Magirna can outspeed. Because it is a fast Magirna. It's like 114. And then we got the Soul Heart boost, and we do outspeed. So this should be able to KO, even though it's not very effective. And we get the defense boost on top of that. That is a huge turn. Great turn for us. We're leveling. So now we have two threats to add on the field to his ass. We have, have a Precipice Blades ground on. And we have Magirna, who is now plus two and plus one on the defense side. It's not bad. It's not a bad play for us. Not a bad play for us. Good thing we did go into that defense boost. Because like I said, I think we needed a lot. Plus two Magirna. And it still has weakness policy. I don't know why they put weakness policy on this Pokemon. It does not need it. It does not need it. It's overkill at that point. It does not need it. We're going to survive that Canyon A damage. He might protect his ass here just so Canyon A takes us out. But I do want to see how this one plays out here. He's going to bring out his final two Pokemon. And I'm thinking it's Rillaboom, right? And if it is Rillaboom, I wouldn't mind. I would not mind Rillaboom. His going to fly out here. And it's going to be really? It's going to be indeed. Okay, so a lot of follow me's are going to come out here. He's going to try to soak up the shots. And I think we just drop a Blades into a, uh, into a Steel Spike, right? Definitely your best bet. Definitely your best bet. We got to keep boosting our defense just so we can start soaking up these, these Zassian shots. So no Trick Room comes out here. We're going to the Blades. We are going to drop another Steel Spike. And I'm going to throw it into the Zassian slot. Even if he protects, we get that defense boost. And we still get off a big time damage. I don't think he can KO me with Behemoth Blade. Actually, he might be able to now. But if not, then he has Blades fine to him. We are plus one on defense. Magirna, eat this up. I hate Zassian so much. I think so OP. It's definitely going to kill me, isn't it? We survived on five. So we're going to die to Buffets, but that's GG's, right? Who dodged that? Indeed, he dodged that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Indeed, he dodged that. We take him out. Okay, that's GG's now. That is GG's. We take out Zassian. Steel Spike's going to slide over here. A plus three Magirna. We survived on five. I was going to be so upset if we died.
Zassian's just OP, man. That was just so OP. We're plus one on defense. That thing ripped into me. Steel Spike flies through here, and we Dynamax Magirna at the perfect time. Of course, this thing's Sash, but we have Buffets flying out. We have Buffets flying. And I think every single Pokemon on the field dies here, right? We're all dying. We're all dying. And I'm going to have one Pokemon left. Look, you die. Well, you're going to die to the uh, Vortex damage. You die. Indeed, he dies. <laughs> Vortex comes around. We're all dead. We're all dead Pokemon. We are all dead Pokemon. It would have been crazy if I didn't have a back end Pokemon. If I did not have Mel Metal in the back, because then he would have died. When I first ran through this team, I did not think I was going to grab a winning record, but we dominated with this team and we played super well all around. We had the Victini Mel Metal combo come in in battle number two. What did we use in battle number one? I think we just used like a standard little Whimsicott, Groudon, Kyogre, and Victini in battle number one, which we ended up losing. And then in battle number three, we rolled out with Magirna. Magirna, we Dynamaxed that at the perfect time, had the Soul Heart start stacking that attack, and then we dominated. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.